of effort. And um, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> You're th there. You are. Thank you. Sorry. All right. All right. I'm gonna magic the poo. You're gonna magic the poo. Excellent. Yes, sir. Since we just fell into a new area, might as well check around for any signs of magic poo. Oh, that fire. Oh. <laughs> it was almost at the 15, and then it just like bounced back. Like, fuck you. You like. You get this trace of magic, and you follow it, and you get this other trace of magic, and you, you follow it around, and you're like, guys, guys, I found it, I found it. This is the trace, this is the trail. This is an entire trail of magic, and you like follow it around and. and Go around corners and everything, but all of a sudden, the trace of magic is behind you, and you're like, "What's happening?" Because the trace of magic seems to be moving. So you're backtracking and you're going all the way back around the way you came and going through secret door that Hilder found and all the way back. And yeah. all of a sudden, you look down and you see this rat with this very small glowing crystal in its paws. I take it. You take it, and you notice that there's arcane energy coming from that crystal, and it's been leading you around on a goose chase. I take it, and then I smash the rat. <laughs> splat! You could ignore the rat. It splats on the uh, heel. And, uh... Ew! You have a tiny purple crystal fragment. Okay. Purple. Add it to your inventory. I am doing that. Believe me, crystals might become important in the future. We can make Cri blue crystal, crystal of red. Rat Jihani. Or whatever. <laughs> oh gosh. With crystal raisins. Oh, oh it is my it's turn. Purple rat crystal. Is that... You cannot use stealth. I cannot use stealth. I can also not use arcana. I really also shouldn't. However, however, I can use, for example, perception to perceive anything that might be of use for for my fellow dwarf. <coughs> find us the way. Eighteen perception. You perceive many things, from even the flashes of the arcane that you all of a sudden seem to perceive to the cracks in the wall that Hilder used to use as, you know, tapping on. And it might be a secret door this time as well. Who knows? Hilder gets a plus two to any roll that he uses. Too bad I can't use Dungeoneering again. No. <laughs> that is unfortunate. It's um, to prevent people from constantly using their best skill. <laughs> please don't use thievery. How do you search a place with thievery? Doesn't matter. I know he's not good at that. <laughs> you try and steal its yeah, direction. I'm not. Because he's like just, all against the, the rogues. Just steal the darkness. <laughs> Alright. Um, I will make a nature check to try to find any trace of footprints or trails leading throughout the sewer. Not by rats or anything, but actual humans or humanoids. Besides our footprints. <laughs> alligator creatures. I will also use nature Evil to waterfalls. find our way back down. You manage to put the group back on track. And not only that, you find, once you're back on track, through the entire part that you chased the, the rat, you notice a set of footprints that you haven't seen before that look human-like. And they're, they're like patches of mud where this trace is going and you like follow it around the sewer. And... You, right. at the at the final one that you see, you like sit down and you like feel at it and stuff, and you're like, "This is a this pretty is recent moth. It's poo. 
<laughs> this poo is Hell fresh. Yeah. This poo is fresh. Someone um, took a dump here. <laughs> no. Um. Um, you could do pretty much like dungeoneering. Yeah, Mago will dungeoneer. To Mago will find... smash the axe. To <laughs> <laughs> be mindful of aggressive waterfalls. They sneak up on you. Their stealth is amazing. Be mindful of your thoughts. No god, they betray you. <laughs> Maga will dungeoneer to find hidden um, doors and traps in this awesome dungeon. Basement. Sewer. This is gonna suck. Sewer. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. You <laughs> just smash around and the walls don't even budge. <laughs> you yeah. are smashing around everywhere. And... Yeah. As Malgar is smashing around everywhere, you turn a corner, and in this corner, you see, um, you see a, it's, it's like a large, uh, a large room of the sewer, and, um, as, alongside the, like, trash piles, and, like, you know, the water flowing there in basins and stuff like that. The, the normal stuff that you see in a sewer. You also see a big assortment of rats there. And uh, bats hanging on the walls. And um, instead of just, you know, scurrying back and forth and uh, leaving you to search in peace... These look quite aggressive and seem to be bent on lunging at you guys. Now you gotta roll initiative for another thing. I have the feeling it might this time involve smashing. <laughs> yes. What exactly came lunging at, lunging at us? Rats, rats, rats and bats. And bats. And bats. Rats and bats. And kids They've and gone, suddenly gone mad. <laughs> What? What this now? Do we have a, like a battle grid? Oh, cool! Awesome! Yeah. Oh, got slow. I think Mel because of all the fashion. A mound of rats. One. Um. Yeah, it's a rat swarm. Okay, two. No. Oh. AOE guys, AOE. What? What? <laughs> nice. Yay! <laughs> uh, I was still alert from being attacked by a waterfall. <laughs> the paladin covered in poo runs in. Ow! Ow! That's your honey. This whole time I was waist deep in poo. Let me know if you can uh, control your character. Take a guess. No! As to whether or not I can control my program! What are you doing to me? I can't control my character, she's doing things without me saying so. No, just kidding. Where's <laughs> our deployment area? Lose control. Um, uh, anywhere in that poo. That has some big <laughs> ass rats! <laughs> anywhere in the nice one. Let me. Let me. I can now control my character. Excellent. That rat swarm looks <laughs> Okay, go. I'm going to zoom in on that rat swarm. Don't move it yet. <laughs> so I can go on the red line? Look at uh, that! Yeah, yeah, you can, right. you can use the squares that <laughs> uh, are crossed by the rat line. Basically not past the rat line. I'm gonna stand out of that green stuff. <laughs> when I was zoomed out, I thought it was a pine cone. <laughs> <laughs> 
You have found a giant pine cone. <laughs> it attacks you. <laughs> That's really cool, though. Um, Actually, I like it. Like, us, stay here. Are these pools of like water, sewage water? What? The the green squares. Yeah, sewage water. Yep. Uh, how deep? That be considered difficult terrain. No, no, just the you know the sole of your uh, of your shoes. Okay. So it's not that deep. So I can't like stand on this garbage pile and have the rats like have. The the garbage to... pile is difficult terrain. I mean. <laughs> Team also. Do, do you know how difficult it is to climb a pile of garbage? Do you? I think it's pretty difficult because it's all loose. This garbage pile the... is as big as me. <laughs> Holding your backpack. So. These are big rats. Yes. Yes, they are. Rat ogres. Toxic. Toxic waste. Wait, Johanny is not sewers. the highest in the initiative list? <gasps> it's a rat ogre. Yeah, it's look who Anna. look who is. Isn't that amazing? Shocker. Today is quite the tip. It's a shocker. Anna, me, Juhani, killed her all right there in a row. Yeah. 18, 18, 17, 16. And it we are so coordinated. And 10. Alright. Um, one sec, guys. I, I unfortunately didn't prepare this time. One sec. I prepared a lot of stuff, but not the initiative of these guys. They like explode and then more rats appear. Smaller <laughs> rats. <laughs> I don't like how the swarms of rats are not creatures. Swarms are so annoying to fight. I don't like. <laughs> but the we bats got are large creatures too. They're big ass rats. They're like half the size of a huge swarm of rats. <laughs> the rats are half the size. Does that mean that each swarm of rats is only two rats? No, no. The big, the big rats are half the size of a swarm of small rats. Did you ever play Vermintide? Yes. It's a rat ogre. <laughs> Those are big rats. You should make them bigger, actually, just for them. If we die in the sewers. But... By rats. Killed by rats. Rats that. in the basement ended by death by rats. In a basement? <laughs> death by rats. You know what? 
this grid actually makes me think of. Maybe it's just me, but I got this whole sunless sea vibe right now. <laughs> yeah. A bit, yeah. I, I guess it's the color. Yeah, and the, and the lights, the lanterns Swarm and stuff. Closer. Uh, no, stay away. I really hate fighting swarms in D&D, guys. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> no. <laughs> then the bat is... Which bat? The top bat. The blue one. Yes. Are there multiple bats? Oh, there's another bat. Yeah. Yes. A green one at the bottom. They are also quite large, are they not? Yep. yep. They're large bats. They're bigger than the large rats. <laughs> yes. Yep. They're a large creature. They're the size of the ice dragon. <laughs> No, the ice dragon was bigger. Almost. <laughs> Alright, so the bat moves one. Here, 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 ah. here, and here. And does an attack against Hilder and Anna as a flyby attack that does not provoke opportunity attacks. Can we remove the very red line? What? Can we remove the very red line? I, I tried, but... Oh, there we go. Woo. Awesome. Cool. Thanks. That went. Alright. Uh, Hilda first. As you were standing closest to the bat. It is... 23 versus your AC. One second. 21. Hit is a hit. Aww. It deals you five damage. Oh, Anna is gone, but I will roll against the. There you go. <laughs> What's your AC? My. My. I didn't hear anything. I was capturing. I, I, I rolled an attack roll of twenty-two versus AC. That is a hit, sir. It deals you four damage. Ouch! After the bat, the purple swarm is. How much damage was uh, damage was that? Uh, four damage on your, um Anna and five damage on. Your. Still alive. After the purple swarm, Anna's turn. It's like I'm helping Richie out here. <laughs> Alright, the Scion. <laughs> mm. uh, okay. um, no one knows yeah. she shows up. Oh god. Uh, okay, I'll go tank the swarm. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Well. Yep. So her eyes start glowy glowy. Oh well no, the veins makes her eyes become black again, black glowing again. <laughs> and the I money money moo. Yeah. Nothing happens for now. She let's count the squares. Damn. One, two, three, four. Okay. Two, three, four, five. This <laughs> it sounds really weird to say. The swarm is cursed. <laughs> you cursed a lot of rats in one year. Yeah. <laughs> and I ready an action. What action do you ready? Uh, yeah. Ready. Wait. Can you ready a power or only a basic attack? You can ready a power. Okay, I ready a um, the the sword starts glowing black light, <laughs> and uh, I'll do an an attack that I'll fluff up when it happens. 
the bits so that will at least when they swarm hits this square. All right. It is Royston. Oh, rat. Oh, rat. <laughs> um. Well. I think I want to stop this orange swarm from advancing. And I think Isometric. I'm going to use my daily to do that. Oh, my. So, <laughs> oh, my. Oh my. So I will cast my telekinetic anchor at it. Hopefully this works out. I don't know. 20 versus fortitude. You hit. Excellent. How extremely average. <laughs> <laughs> One sec. One second, please. Would be average for us to die. Telekinetic three. anchor? Yes, sir. Oh, where did you put the burst, by the way? Right in its face. I jumped up there. The face of the swarm. <laughs> <laughs> Is this like in the Matrix in the end? And, and what happens? Fluff up the telekinetic anchor. I don't think you've used it yet. I have, actually. This oh. is the one where um, Juju, only visible to the rats. <laughs> 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 so the swarm of rats appears in the sky and the spears <laughs> Spears come crashing down, piercing the swarm of rats. <laughs> and then, One spear as they appeared, they disappear. All right. All right. With. Um, let's see here. Um, I will also. You you notice that the um, that the spears. Um, Pierce a lot of rats, and quite a bit of the swarm dies to this attack. Area of effect attacks are more effective. Cool. All right. Good job. Sounds good. <laughs> um, I will also minor create a fire pot bolt <laughs> in the offhand of. Juhani. <laughs> oh, Juhani now has a fire pot bolt. Very good. <laughs> and I end my turn. Does your crossbow require two hands to use? Define use. Attack with it. Is it a normal crossbow? Yes. Action. I load as a free action. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Even if the bow appeared like exploding in front of me, I would just grab it and I would shoot it and the force would push the other... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't gonna go, go well with me. Well, he created it in your offhand, so you now have your bow with one hand. That. Well, he has to load it anyway, so... I think that's the dif I, I biggest difference the between crossbows and... and other bows, right? You can use them with one hand. Nope, you can only yeah. use hand crossbows with one hand. Oh, hand crossbows, yeah. As it turns out, I still have all my weapons on my back because I can also draw my weapons without taking action. <laughs> I actually put them away after every turn just to stand there smug, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, it is your turn. So. Speaking well, of that, actually, it is the brakes turn. What? Yes! Get out <laughs> here, yes, brakes. please! How rude. 
How rude. We're going to take a 10 minute break, guys. We will be right back for some more uh, swarm action, I guess. <laughs> uh, so stay tuned, shut your legs, get a drink, all that good stuff. Richie, ride! <laughs> and we will be back in 10 minutes to get this going. Stay on. <laughs> 